Hey, okay guys, welcome back. My name is Deathray and we're in Imperion. The multiplayer server I've been waiting on for a while now. Uh, finally got reset. So it's been reconfigured and reset. It has been made bigger with more planets. Um, it could have anywhere from 31 to 66 different solar systems. So that includes three starter planets. Yeah, this should be interesting. This should be fun. All right, so gives us our three starter planet capabilities. And I think this is the one I'm going to go with. I like the gravity. Did you notice that? 0.53 gravity? I'm gonna be able to jump. And jump a lot. hell why is that the hell everybody else seeing this Why is it graphically screwing up like that? Oh, hell, it better, better fix itself quick. Oh, hell no. What the hell? All right. Hold on. J j just hold on. We can't be having that. Nope. Not at all.
we're gonna try this shit again. Let's try this again. All right, definitely gonna have a different view. Uh, let's go over the water. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's water underneath me. Oh, Promethium deposit already. Oh, shit. That was a red target. I saw a red target. Eh, let's land on the island. Okay, first things first, start you, second things first, next. That's a drone over there. Which probably means there's something over there.
All right, so. I need to run over there. This is where I landed. Where to go next? Let's go north. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, let's read this real quick. All right, let's start the Robinson pro Protocol. Which means I have to go back to that damn thing. So I have to get into it. And I have a strange feeling that... Oh, hey, there's wreckage. <coughs> so I need to go that direction. The drone's getting closer. top of the water. Why am I dying? Is just stay away from the drone. Head towards the wreckage. And hopefully I can pick up some resources along the way.
not seeing any resources. Yeah, I'm looking at you. You looking at me? Oh, resources. No, wrong one. That one. Another one. Plenty of cobalt. Mm. All right, going into some hills, so I'm probably going to find silicone up here. Or more cobalt. Or not cobalt. Copper. I need to find some iron. Iron's going to be kind of important. See the shrine already. There's the shrine. Okay, I'm loving this gravity.
I'm not stuttering. Oh, come on. Some iron's gonna be out here somewhere. Damn, two more? Oh, come on. None, no iron, at all those rocks.
level four. And that's just from picking plants. Dudes, hey. Hey, can you tell me where some iron is? Come on, have a have a have a brother out. Tell me where some iron is. Is it this direction? No, this isn't iron. This is silicon. I need iron.
What's up with that? And I'm breaking the uh, ground there. Is that what I think it is? Iron! One rock in miles. <laughs> uh. I'm probably not going to see another rock for for hours. And look at that. Picking it up, picking up enough uh, experience from plants. Already level five. Okay, can't pick that up. Oh, another iron. All right. All right, found the wreckage. Of course, I knew where it was because of the Robinson Protocol. Still like to find more iron. All right, since I'm near the wreckage, I'm going to pick up on the th 
nodes that are around there. So at least I'll have access to iron, silicone, and copper from the nodes. But it would have been nice to actually get a decent amount of resources on the way in. Search through the wreckage, pick up everything you can find. Okay. There they are. Okay. So I now have a motorcycle. Okay, so. They say first things first. Let's not put it over there. Let's put it over here. A little better out of the way. I'll pull the, put the tent down there just to make it look pretty. <clears throat> Start that up. Start that up. It says I have enough. So let's make a drill. Now, since I've gained levels, Gotta unlock the absolutes. those for the initial absolutes
few steel plates, and it's still chugging away at that shit. Really? Need to hurry up. There we go. Yes, I could be.
Here we go. Why is it building a second one? I didn't ask it to build a second one. That's just weird. Hey Storm, what's going on? Going pretty good. Just started a new server. Yeah, I made, made some changes to it. Um, wanted to make it the system bigger, so there. The random system should make it large enough. There should be anywhere from 30 to over 60 different solar systems. And I put in three starter planets, so there's three choices to, to start on. I 
gonna get some food. It's the wreckage, there it is. Oh! That while I see it. That's a good start for biofuel. That'll get me started. All right, so. First, I want to make a heater. I want to make another one of those. heaters for when it gets cold and then the extra constructor will allow me to run biofuel at the same time that I need to make other things so I can run two constructors and when it becomes daylight we're gonna go get some materials Run over and grab some iron first, then go for the copper, then go for the silicon. No, no. Unfortunately, on the multiplayer, you can't sleep, so you have to kind of, you know, find something to do, <laughs> find a safe place to be. Um, I played, I've got a solo, solo game going. Um, I've only, like, done three episodes so far, and it's the first time I've played solo in a very, very, very long time. I tell you what, between multiplayer and solo, it's like playing two separate different games. Well, um, for instance, the tent... The, the tent allows you to sleep during single player, but um, it doesn't allow you to do anything at all in multiplayer. It's, it's actually a wasted piece of equipment. Um, so I don't even know why they give it to you in a, in a, in a multiplayer game. But, you know, just um, POIs, um, a, a lot of the POIs respawn after you've you've messed with them um and that allows for other be other be people to to be able to play hey what's up physics what's going on brother um the multiplayer game um usually the auto miners don't um deplete the the resources uh so one node multiple players can put on auto, auto miners on and actually be able to gain resources through that node um the uh i haven't tested this last time i was on the multiplayer server before we reset it the grinder would get rid of rocks but on the single player, it wouldn't allow me to use the grinder on rocks. I actually had to use the drill. So the very first thing I'm going to test is when the when I get to my HV is use the grinder and see if you can still take rocks out on multiplayer.
Yeah, man, it's it's been quite a few days actually. Um, been busy with a bunch of stuff. Uh, tornado, a tornado came through and and uh, tore up one of my cars and my motorcycles. So I've been dealing with that. I'm trying to get estimates on that. Um, yeah, it's it's been it's been a crazy couple of weeks. Yeah, it tore up the surrounding area pretty bad. Um, a lot of trees down. Um, the siding and the, the shingles on the roof and stuff um, got messed up pretty bad. But uh, other than that, it I mean, it wasn't that... It, it Surprisingly, it did a lot of damage for the... It was only an F1. But it didn't do... It didn't there weren't any deaths or any injuries or anything like that. I don't even think anybody realized there was a tornado here until the day after when they were studying the the all the reports and stuff. They they announced that it was actually a tornado and not just like a bad storm. All right. So, I want to move All this to this one. in here for the biofuel. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, I streamed earlier today and got back on a couple hours later and started streaming again. I've been on for about 30 minutes. I'm going to run for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. See, I picked up a, a few more games in the summer sales, so you probably start seeing me stream a few other games as well. Um, picked up the um, the Star Trek Bridge. Um, picked up Conan Exiles. A lot of people have said that's a pretty good game, so I picked that one up. There was a couple of something else that I picked up. I don't remember what I did. But yeah, so yeah, you should see a little bit of more me. All right, good start on biofuel. Sun should be up in about a minute, and we'll make a make a run for the iron. There, it's over there. switch over fully you got a big, you got a pretty good following on console so you know stick with it a little bit stick with what you know but yeah branch into the PC say so come join come join us hardcore <laughs> let's see let's make Five meats. Meats do pretty good. Then we'll do five of those. That'll be good. <laughs> 
So then you can you can pick up Empyreon and join me. break for it a little early and hope I don't run into any spiders. Although since they changed the hitbox on the spiders, the spiders aren't near as annoying as they used to be. Um, they're still annoying. They're still a pain in the ass. But it's not near as bad. that noise. Hang on guys, give me a sec. into the iron. Alright. We'll come back here. What do you mean? There's nothing above me. Let me check something real quick. No. Nope. Noticed somebody was on the server earlier, and I forgot to even look to see if they applied for the faction. Though it really doesn't matter since they're on a totally different planet anyway. Hey Storm, you really should give you give you a hand at a multiplayer game. See how you, see how you like it. There might be there might be some things that you like over the single player. I know there's a lot that that I like over the single player.
Getting the hang of things is always a good thing. I'm not gonna knock you for that. But if you ever do uh, want to give a multiplayer a try, give me a yell. Let alone, hey, if you've got any questions, man, feel free to ask. Uh, 217 this go ahead and pause that for now let's go get some copper now get on the bike that's 300 meters that's a long run
I got my little platform to stand on now. I don't fall in the hole. Oh, there's nothing above me. Damn it. Wide open sky. Come on. What the fuck? You know, let's do this. Let's put it where I can actually see it. And I know how much I've got. I'll mine to about 200 or and then we'll move over to the silicon it's basically I'm mining I'm wanting to mine just enough resources so that I can get my HV my hovercraft up and running that will help me in so many ways that changing because it's still going into why isn't it going into that it should go into that inventory Wow. What level are you? Already 25? <laughs> Damn. Usually I'm on the moon before I before I clear 12. That means you've done a, a lot on the uh, starter planet. I mean that's a lot of that's a lot of hunting for cobalt. Well, you'll find that most planets um, outside of the starter planet are fairly easy. Um, once you get off the starter planet and start searching through other systems, the very first couple of systems usually are just as easy as the starter planet as far as being able to get around um, not too, not too many complications. Um, you know, normal hostels, um, POIs, stuff like that you have to deal with. One nice thing is, after you get off the starter planet, you've got more friendly POIs that you'll run into. Um, for some reason, they didn't add a whole lot to the the starter planet. Um, for for friendly POIs and I'm not I'm not sure why they made that change you would think that would be one of the things that they would want to to keep on a starter planet just get just to keep people you know fairly instant interested not always thinking that it's it's nothing but hostile hostility out there oh well there again 
there's always the possibility of hostilities when you, especially if you run on a public server, because the PVE systems do generate some PVE, or PVP, I mean. Well, the nice thing about that is you can actually find some really good groups that, that like to play together. And if you get in with a decent group, even the PvP isn't that bad. I have a feeling I'll be done with this node before I hit 200. Which seems to be about average these days. Copper seems to be more rare than, uh, than it used to be in your primary Especially with it being a primary ore. So you like the building aspect of the game as well, huh? Well, rail guns and rockets um, tend to be a pretty good medium range weapon. Um, I think the plasma turret is really good overall for damage output. Nice thing about the rockets is they're, they're shoot and forget. They're homing rockets, so, or at least the tier two is. So you can point, shoot, and then break off and try to get away from the guns. Mitigate your damage that way. I'd like to see them bring in a few turrets, just maybe two or three models. And they don't have to be extravagant, just small turrets for that matter, for the for the SV.
know, you can do it with the HV. I don't see why you can't do it with the with the SV, but they haven't gotten there yet. I think that was all of it. I don't not see any more. Oh, okay, so that last bit was about a hundred, so I got up to about three hundred. Still. Alright, so let's Find the copper. Why don't I see it? Or the silicone, I mean. Alright, it's over there past the wreckage. Okay. We'll head back towards the wreckage, pass it, and then... Actually, we'll stop at the wreckage, we'll drop off the iron and the, sil and the uh, copper go ahead and start processing that stuff and then we'll head over to the silicone to need let's see let's do 30 30 and whatever I can pull out of that will run that way Silicon.
I have a feeling the silicone is going to be like the copper. It's going to be gone before it's before we know it. I tend to salvage them for parts at the very beginning because you can use if you already have like a blueprint for a ship you can throw those parts into a blueprint and that'll allow you to build that that ship with just the parts you've salvaged alone not just um, ore that you've mined uh, if you've got a multi-tool, then it's better to do the parts to actually yank the whole block instead of tearing it down for parts. And then putting that block into the, the blueprint. Because when you tear the block apart into its separate parts, you don't get 100% of what it takes to build that block back. But if you tear it down as a block then you get the block and that means you get 100% of what what went into it so If you retrieve the blocks, you can reuse the blocks for your own purposes. Um, 
And a lot of the POIs you'll you'll find are made out of heavy heavy steel or combat steel, which is a harder substance and actually better on hit points. Not as easy to, easy to knock out of the sky. It takes a while, but salvage is actually a pretty, pretty good way of getting things done around. Is that all of it? Oh, a little bit left. Not much. Only got two more of that. Usually not a good idea to let your bike sit there that long. Surprised it didn't despawn de on me. I usually pick it up. So, basic cover. Put all that in there. Just need a little more silicone. What, I have 30, so I need 70 more? 80 more? Oh, another thing about multiplayer versus single player. In multiplayer, 
the spoilage of food isn't as harsh. Like, for instance, I created this meat, like, what, 30 minutes ago? As long as it sits right here, it won't spoil. So, constructors on ships, you can actually use them as, like, refrigerators instead of having to actually have a refrigerator on, on a ship in a multiplayer game. It's actually freaking awesome. more than I needed start production and in 14 minutes we'll have the first HV okay so we're doing Iron for sure. All right, so what to do for 14 minutes? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Overshot that. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, bounced. Damn it. There we go.
14 long minutes. I wonder how many minutes it's been. Three minutes, 46 seconds. All right. The end is near. There is light at the end of the tunnel.
before I run out. Come on. It's not doing anything. Something I'm going to need. Let's do the shotgun. Plant fibers. Going to have to share some of your wood there, buddy. Ammo for it. And the blueprint is ready. All right. Okay. Um. Let launch there. Let's find out. Voila. Now, just in case nobody knows, or when on like the wreckage, okay, even though it is not cord, it's cord public, okay, you can spawn ships on it, even though you may have the settings set to only spawn on base or CV okay since the base is considered a public base it still allows you to spawn your stuff on it so that's a very big advantage all right first things first our yeah I try to do my public announcements you know the hell back in there all right this is going to be the fun part trying to get the hell out of here to make room. I'm going to have to make room.
finish this thing and then we'll have to pick it up and hopefully that'll free the ship because it's stuck I didn't have enough room to get it out a nice tight view. Alright, so first things first. I was going to test the rock idea. I'll be damned. They even changed it in multiplayer. Fuck. Ah, uh, well. It was too good to be true, right? That's okay. It still has its purpose. Killed trees in a very expedient nature. It also kills bugs or animals. Very, very effective. I didn't know he was hiding behind that tree. That was a bit of a surprise.
I always want to keep the Akua bushes and trees up. You don't want to cut them down. So, in just that short period of time, we gained two, shit, wrong button, we gained 273 trees. Kick that back in the gear. Start making some more biofuel so I can run that thing. Alright, so now that we got that done. Yes, you can do that with a shotgun. But I've always wondered... If, is it cost effective? I mean, early game, yeah, I'm, I'm, it is quicker than the than the supplied um, survival tool. But the survival tool doesn't cost you anything but um, stamina, endurance. So, I, eh. What was I going to do? I don't forget. I forgot what I was going to do. Okay. So that's where we came from. There was a drone over here. This is where we are now. So we've got some uncovering to do. Finish up that iron. Do that. What are we looking at as far as cover vehicle? I need level 10 before I get the drills. Okay. Level 10. Okay, so the next on the Robinson protocol is the tower. So let's get my shotgun, my ammo, gonna have that. Put my food up for later. Turn this bad boy on. Start producing a little biofuel as we go. Stuff. Well, I can have some materials with me if I need them. Let's 
Yeah, I didn't think so. Wood from them. All right. So let's go take a look at this alien tower. something. There he is. Okay. These are extremely hard to find. So we are going to... Where is it? Huntsman. Kill the slime. Now that I've seen him. get this off my list. Alright, now I don't have to go looking for him later. Alright, man. Figure this real quick because I'm going to need to. I'm thinking about it. Let's do a NOR scanner. And a detector.
<coughs> Radiation from what? Uh, it's not going to let me finish that out, is it? Let's see, what planet? I'm on Aqualine. How's it going, Aaron? Not too bad, not too bad. Restarted um, the server, made some changes to it, so this should be fun. Welcome back, Storm. All right, let's see. Oh, didn't regenerate it. did not work. Not too bad. Um, you know, same as usual. is loaded.
Oops. Wrong key. I want to flip now. I want to flip. It's weird. Alright. I'm about to do this. 3007. Is that right? Okay. And there we go. Okay. All right, that was fun. All right, hang on. Heard another one. Where is he? Oh, there he is. How the fuck's he stuck in there? Ooh, I heard another one.
Okay, now with that done... Um, hold on a second. Yeah. I want to come back to here. Alright, so this is going to be a really good breaking point for me. Um, I've got a few things I need to get done. But I'm pretty sure I will be back in a couple of hours to start up again. So as soon as I get back to the wreck, I'm going to cut it. Storm, it's been awesome, man. Please hit that follow button. I'd love for you to come back and say hello. Aaron, good to see you again. Don't be a, don't be a total stranger. Park it in my semi-temporary garage. And voila, we are back. Biofuel's working there. All right, so when I get back, um, we'll finish working on the protocol. Um, the next step, I think, is to find the the broken parts of the ship. So that's what we'll do next is find those. Um, and then we'll go from there. So be good, guys. I will catch you in a few hours.